So the Scopey effect is a generic term that I use to describe any phenomena that cannot be explained by modern scientific approaches. It's the area that I've dedicated the last 10 years of my life. The psychosis that's brought on by experiencing a, the Scopey effect is one whereby the individual actually believes um, that they have in some form traveled through time and into another person's uh, life experience. So for example, if you were watching a movie, you would experience events with a beginning, a middle, and an end. With the Scopey effect, you experience the past, the present, and the future all at the same time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the fundamental principle of the universe that we live in. To try and truly comprehend our universe, we have to be able to embrace both the science and what we call spirituality simultaneously. So Dr. Ian Stevenson, uh, perhaps one of the most preeminent scientists in this field, he literally believed that the way to scientifically prove reincarnation was not to use hypnotherapy, but to gather data, raw data, through interviewing thousands upon thousands of children. He then had a massive bank of data. And with that, he could then track through time, it's painstaking. He was able to match the spontaneous memories with the actual deceased people. So Dr. Stevenson, he was actually able to take the birthmarks and defects and match them to the actual wounds and scars of the deceased. So for some of you out there, you might have heard of the holographic universe. Something that we see and experience every single day, but it is essentially the monitor of a computer. The computer itself that's held far, far away. And inside that computer holds the entire memory of everything that ever was and will ever be. Scopia effect moments, these are times when for a split second we have uh, a little bit of access to that. And it's at this point when we can access um, this hard drive that we can experience the universe in its purest form from infinite points across infinite layers of time and space. So for any person to actually experience this, it can be the most overwhelming experience you could ever imagine. But yet it can be one whereby for a split second, your mind and the mind of God is combined and it can be glorious.